Hey guys, this is Constantine, the thrifty backpacker, and tonight I'm checking in popping pasta. <laughs> right here but I'm not sure maybe there yeah there you go this is the lobby so it's 8 30 o'clock in the morning and I wasn't able to check in because my room is not ready so I'll have to wait a little bit in the lobby and I think I'm going to the beach first because I don't have so much time since they don't check me in I'd rather go out um, look around and go to the beach. Some cool cliffs here. The beach looks like this. A lot of boats. It's pretty... pretty quiet. Let's check the water. Yeah, the water is pretty warm. Not bad at all. Although it looks a little bit muddy. But very, very quiet. Okay, so I didn't have to wait for a long time. I was given the key at about 10.45, 11 o'clock. And let me show you around. This is some kind of lobby where you can chill. Just uh, be in your phone or play some football. There's also information on the wall about some events are gonna take place and some options from the hostel they pretty much provide some breakfast and different excursions they also sell weed so you don't have to search where to buy it although you might find some prices cheaper there is a microwave so you can warm something up and leave your shoes. Okay. So I'll play this. Okay, so this is a cafe area. They say that they have a happy hour. Coffee and breakfast 100 baht, not bad at all. So I guess that sometimes people hang out here, but I haven't seen them yet. There is a mosque, so some people complained in their reviews that it is loud but I haven't heard anything there and this is the entrance so the area is pretty much well conditioned so it's cold pretty cold and you can also have a drink or a happy brownie for 100 baht these are different brochures different tours that you can get and you can also get some stuff here in the hostel so it's also a weed hostel and we're going to the main area right now all right so in order to get to the room we need to go upstairs and different types of rooms are shown with different lines so um, mine is green or mine is red I forgot okay so this is also a bathroom like a common bathroom okay nothing super special just just a bathroom everything is clean not wash your feet in the bathroom yeah, of course we won't we won't won't do this okay so we go up the stairs so they have shared bedrooms and private bedrooms I have a private bedroom because I need to work today and these are stairs to upper floors but we're going to the private room it smells like weed here I think someone has been smoking okay all right, so this is the room, and I paid $17 for it. Let's see if it's worth it. Boom. No, it's too early. Boom, okay. So this is the room, and it's pretty spacious. 
Okay. So there is a huge bed and definitely a lot of space with a mini bar with a flat screen TV and the AC not so big. So you can see there are even two desks. So it could be good for two people. Let's say freelancers. Here's the bathroom with ventilation. Everything is super, super clean. Okay. Toilet paper, bidet, shower, soap, shampoo, everything is there. Okay. Alright. And uh, the window is facing the main street. So it could be a little bit loud. And you probably would like to keep the curtains closed because you might be seen from the main street. But I can't say it's really loud in the room. I can't say that. Yeah, and they also provided water, which is a nice bonus. I wish the mini bar was full, but okay. But still, can't complain. Everything is super clean. It'd be a nice place to hang out. Like an area with a swimming pool, with a bar, and the seas there. It's so good. But I gotta continue and reach the monkey trail. What the hell is this? Seems like to be perfect advertising. Yeah, this part of the beach is definitely less crowded. Just a little bit down south in the main area. Most people hang up there. Yeah, I think this part is really cool to hang out. There's, there are deck chairs here and they're in shades and not so many people. It's amazing. All right, here we go to the monkey trail. Let's see if there are real monkeys there. Some of the passes are really narrow and bubbly. Okay, here we go, thank you. This is how we go. Stairs to go up. It's getting more, it's getting steeper. Okay, but we'll deal with it. Not like in Rio de Janeiro, but it's still very steep. A little bit of a view here. Mostly everything is covered because there are a lot of trees. And that's it. So it didn't take me very long. There's another beach. And probably better views because not everyone is able to get here. Or maybe there's another way by car. But anyway. Right, that's enough. I'm coming back. On oh, some monkeys. They are hiding there. Actually, I didn't show you the showers for dorms. They're on the second floor. A lot of them just on the floor as soon as you leave the stairs. And toilets too. And you can leave your stuff here. I make some tofu in the microwave. I was given a plate and there is a top for it. Let's see how it goes. Super cheap, it's 12 baht. Yeah, I said two minutes maximum capacity. So let's see what's happened. What's gonna happen? Right, that must be it. And two more minutes, just in case. Just in case. Now it's de it definitely looks more ready. So some free coffee and tofu. Mmm. Okay, guys, just to wrap up, I should say that I really enjoyed this hostel. Although I stayed in a private room, but it was good value for money. Maybe a little bit too far from the beach. Maybe. But it was still okay to walk along the street and uh, pass by all these cafes. And be offered this massage, <laughs> but not accepting it. Okay, so yeah, good location, uh, very good service, very accommodating. Um, spacious room maybe because it's not in the season and i got the upgrade and that's why the price was good i don't know but i reckon the hostel itself the dorms must be really good here as well so yeah thank you very much guys for watching subscribe to this channel to see more interesting videos about cheap accommodation and cheap activities around the world and um 
yeah, give this video a like. Later, I'm going back to Bangkok by bus, so it's gonna be another video. Um, bus from Krabi to Bangkok, okay? So just wait for it, and it's gonna be the next. All right, guys, take care, bye.